Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at some at a test for divisibility by sound, which was uh, which is a very new invention in the field of mathematics. So let's just go straight to the point and let's start with some examples. So for instance, if you have a number like this, uh, six thousand uh, and six, the question is, can this be divisible by seven? So the test is as follows. You take the last digit of the number. So in this case, the last digit of this particular number is six. So when you take this six, you multiply it by five. When you multiply it by five, you are going to get 30. So and you add the remaining digit is 600. So you have 600 plus 30, which is equal to 630. 630. So still, you don't know whether this number is divisible by seven. So you take the last digit, which is what? Zero. So you multiply zero by five, you obtain zero. So you add zero to the remaining digit 63, which uh, you add zero, you get 63. So and you don't know still whether this number is divisible by three. You, the last digit here is three. So you take three, you multiply it by five, so you obtain what uh, 15 so you add 15 to 5 add to 6 15 plus 6 is 21 that means you add 6 plus 15 you get 21 so and what do you know is 21 is divisible by 7 so since 21 is divisible by 7 then this particular number uh, 6006 is divisible by 7 why because after you make the test you get a number which is divisible by 7 so 6006 is divisible by 7 and the result is 800 uh, 858 so and let's look at the second example our second example today is 37730 which is 37730 so can this be divisible by seven? So let's run a test again. So the last digit here, the last digit here is uh, is zero. So when you take zero, you multiply it by five, you obtain zero. So when you add zero to three seven seven three plus zero, you obtain three seven seven three. So the last digit here is three again. So 3 multiplied by 5, you obtain uh, 15. So and 15, you have 377. 7. You add 15, what do you obtain is uh, 2, 9, 3. 2, 9, 3. So and this 2, 9, 3, the last digit here is 2. So you multiply 2 by 5, you get 10. And the last digit is 39. So you have 39 plus 10, which is equal to 49. So and what you know is that when you do 7 times 7, you are going to get 49. So 49 is divisible by 7. So so also 37730 is divisible by 7 and the result is going to be 5390 so and another let's look at another example uh, the third example for today is 273714 which is uh, 273714 is this divisible by seven so let's run the test and see the last digit here is four we multiply it by five the last digit is uh, four here when you multiply by five you get 20 you get 20 and this 20 when you add you are the remaining digit are uh, two seven three seven one so plus 20 we are going to get we are going to get two seven and 
3391 so the last digit here is 1 we multiply by 5 multiply by 5 you get 5 so we add 5 to this you have 2739 plus 5 you get 274444 four, 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 four. so the last digit here is 4 so 4 multiply by 5 you get 20 20 so you have 2 7 4 plus 20 so 2 7 4 plus 20 this is equal to 2 9 4 so 2 9 4 and still the last digit here is 4 so you have 4 times 5 it will give you uh, 20 so you add 29 plus 20 is going to give you 49 so and what do you know is that 49 is divisible by 7 because 49 is a multiple of 7 7 times 7 is 49 so so also 273,714 is divisible by 7 and when you divide this what you are going to obtain is 39102 as the result okay i hope this video helped thank you